Ever wondered why data warehousing is critical in today's data-driven world? Let's dive in. See, we live in an era where data is the new oil, and data warehousing is the refinery. It's the powerhouse that manages and analyzes vast amounts of data, turning raw information into valuable insights. Imagine having a gold mine of data, but no tools to extract the gold. That's where data warehousing comes into play. In the world of business, decisions need to be made swiftly and strategically. And guess what? A well-structured data warehouse provides the necessary tools to make these data-driven decisions. It offers an edge over competitors by allowing trend analysis and strategic planning based on historical data. So if you're looking to transform your unstructured data into meaningful information, a data warehouse is your go-to solution. So it's clear that without a well-structured data warehouse, handling and making sense of the enormous data available would be quite challenging. Now that we know why data warehousing is essential, what does a data warehouse look like from inside? Let's imagine we're stepping into this vast virtual warehouse, a place humming with activity and brimming with information. At the heart of the data warehouse, we find the database server. This is the powerhouse, the central storage area where all our data resides. It's like the main hall of our warehouse, stacked high with shelves of data, neatly arranged and waiting to be accessed. Now, how does the data get into our warehouse? Enter the ETL tool. ETL stands for Extract, Transform, Load. This handy tool is like the warehouse's delivery system. It extracts data from various sources, transforms it into a suitable format, and loads it into the data warehouse. It's the truck that brings in the goods and places them on the right shelf. Next, we have the metadata repository. If our data warehouse is a library, the metadata repository is the card catalog. It contains information about the data, like a summary or a quick reference guide. It helps us understand what's in our warehouse and where to find it. Finally, we have end user query tools. These tools allow users to interact with the data, to ask questions and get answers. They're like the librarians who help you find the book you're looking for, or in this case, the data you need. These components don't exist in isolation. They're all interconnected, working together to ensure that our data is not only stored, but also usable. The ETL tool brings in the data, the database server stores it, the metadata repository helps us understand it, and the end user query tools enable us to interact with it. It's a beautiful dance of information, transforming raw data into useful insights. So a data warehouse is more than just a storage space. It's a complex system that transforms raw data into valuable insights. It's an intricate network, a bustling hub of activity that takes raw, unprocessed data and turns it into something we can use, something that can drive decision-making and fuel innovation. Now let's delve deeper into how a data warehouse operates. At its core, a data warehouse is a system that pulls data from diverse sources. This process, known as extraction, is the first step in the journey of data. Once extracted, the data goes through a transformation phase where it is cleaned and converted into a unified format. This standardization is critical as it ensures that data from different sources can interact and be analyzed together. Next, we have the loading process. Here, the transformed data is loaded into the data warehouse, ready for analysis. But remember, a data warehouse is more than just a storage space. It's a tool that organizes data in a way that aids in queries and decision-making. This leads us to metadata, the unsung hero of data management. Metadata gives context to data, making it easier to manage and retrieve. It's like a librarian in a library, guiding you to the right book. Therefore, the functionality of a data warehouse revolves around making data accessible and useful for end users. So, what did we learn about data warehousing today? In our data-driven world, the significance of data warehousing cannot be overstated. It acts as a central repository where data from various sources are consolidated, making it an imperative tool for organizations to make data-driven decisions. We delved into the structure of a data warehouse, exploring its fundamental components, the staging area, integration layer, and access layer. Each has a unique role in ensuring that the data is cleaned, integrated, and readily accessible. We also touched on the functionality of a data warehouse. It's not just a storage unit for data. It transforms raw, disparate data into meaningful, actionable insights. 
By facilitating historical analysis and trend identification, it empowers organizations to make strategic decisions. A data warehouse is more than the sum of its parts. It's a complex system that, when implemented effectively, can drive an organization's success. Remember, a robust data warehouse is the backbone of any successful data-driven organization.